Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So for those doing NAC exam, uh, 2024 November, I have a question for you. It is a uh, estimation costing question because it was set on 2021, 2021 July estimation costing and costing. For those doing civil engineering and building construction, this is a question for you. this uh, paper that was set on. 2021 July so the, this question is normally set for builder building building and construction and civil civil construct civil engineering so I've done the all the I think the foot marks that was set so the paper is normally combined it is measurement and uh, estimation costing so estimation is foot marks and uh, Measurement is gist marks. In measurement, we have two questions: that that marks, that marks for theory, and that marks for for taking off. And this one is normally four marks. So I've done the question. Hmm. So the first question says: state four roles of each of the following during construction. During construction. Quantity surveyor and contractor. First one, quantity surveyor. What does a quantity surveyor do during construction? So the first one I wrote, foundation for state payment, foundation for variation that arise as the work proceed, preparation of one final account, preparation for periodic, for periodic. For periodic cost report for architect or client. So those are they, they are mean, but I've just written mine here. I've just written four, but they are mean. So the second one, roles of a contractor during construction. Providing all material, labor, equipment, and services services necessary for the construction of the project. Providing so the contractor provide all material, labor, equipment, and services necessary for the construction of the project during construction. Number two, the contractor hires specialized subcontractors to perform all all or portion of the construction work. Number three, role of a construct a contractor during during construction. He or she supervises all employees and subcontractors ensuring that the project is completed per the scope and within all building code laws and regulations hmm? they, they have said four but of mine are very as i've said there are many so the, the it was number four a uh, number four b it says explain three types of payment certificate in construction project explain the three types of payment certificate in construction projects so we have the rate certificate that are normally <coughs> given to a contractor by architect so the first certificate is interim certificate penultimate certificate and final certificate so the interim certificate is the first certificate this one the second certificate and this final the last one so Sometimes they will ask you explain the three types of payment certificate without mentioning this one. I think in this question it was mentioned. Eh? It was mentioned. This was this was mentioned. The certificate was mentioned, but ne next time they will not mention the certificate. It's, it's up to you to to name the certificate, then they explain. So let us explain. In that certificate, this this is a temporary certificate that enables the contractor to receive a regular payment so that he will not have to carry the heavy financial burden of a complete project i repeat this is a temporary certificate that enables the contractor to receive regular payment so that he will not have to carry the heavy financial burden of a complete project so this one is the first certificate that that is issued by architect to the contractor 
so the, the second certificate is penultimate certificate so this is a certificate issued by the architect to the contractor signifying that the works have been carried out and completed in accordance in accordance with with the tar with the terms of the contract and all adjustments to the contract price have been made in accordance yes this is a certificate issued by the architect to the contractor signifying that the works have been carried out and completed in accordance with the terms of the contract and all adjustments to the contract price have been made in accordance so that this is the second certificate that is issued then final certificate this is the last certificate issued by the architect to the contractor to, 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 to signify a state of satisfactory completion where to the opinion of the architect the works are substantially complete and can effectively and conveniently be used for the intended purposes so you have to know one thing here this certificate is the last certificate but between this certificate and this one they normally give six months hmm? six months for the contractor to to review the works if they any defect you can you can uh, repair them after repairing the six months then he will be giving this certificate the last one so the, let's go to the another question explain the term variation variation explain them the term variation this is the alteration or modification for the design quality or quantity of works as shown in the contract drawing bills and specification this is that alteration or modification of the design contract or quantity of works as shown in the contract drawing bills or specification okay so let's go to the other question here we have the uh, state four causes of variation in the construction project causes of variation what causes variation hmm? what causes that omission alteration addition hmm, just that was that so the first one the first thing that causes variation is errors in the preparation of a bill of quantities errors may be made by a quantity supplier during preparation of the during preparation of a bill of quantity so the first error the first cause is error in in the preparation of a bill of quantity hmm? so the bill of quantity must be done with high accuracy then b changes changes to the design or specification required by the architect or client the client might 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 change this his mind or the uh, architect so the changes to the design or specific specific specification required by the architect or client number three c or c non available of specific materials so this some material may be may not be available in the country so they will change eh? maybe some steel some steel may not available maybe still were indicated in the bill of quantity or specification after that they, they found out that they are not in the country so they will change eh? unforeseen site condition yes this is where when the site the, the site may appear may appear good but at the end when you go to the excavation you may, you may find it has rocks inside eh? and for since that condition technological advancement statutory rules supply or subcontractor issues weather weather and external factors regulatory changes yes and number five explain four types of contract document in construction industry explain four types of contract document in construction industry these are it was very easy i think it was easy this problem was easy 
so one working and drawing working and drawing eh? so working and drawing normally it contains contain plans elevation section and large scale detail of the project of the project construction of the construction project of the proposed this one is proposed of the proposed of the proposed of the proposed construction project of which should be able to interpret the project at the hand yes that is the working drawing that is the working drawing then specification uh work drawing is prepared by the architect and this one also is specifically is provided by architect so these are documents prepared by the architect to supplement the drawing eh? this one supplements the drawing as we see specify the nature and class of work and material to be used in the various parts of work from foundation to structure in detail as method of work yes then bill of quantity bill of quantity is prepared by a quantity surveyor a professional a professional quantity surveyor so this one it is prepared by a professional quantity surveyor it specifies the type of material method of work and the quantity of work to be done yes then the last one form of tender form of the form of tender it is a preprinted formal a formal over usually in letter form which ensures that all tenders are received on the basis and should be simple to compare okay so that was that was 5a then 5b 5b it says uh, explain each of the following terms as used in estimating and costing overhead overhead these are costs which are not directly related to the labor or production in the site but have cost implication to the farm these are cost overhead are cost these offered are cost which are not directly related to the labor or production in the site but have cost impl implication to the farm yes i don't have to read that one unit rate these are rate per unit, per unit of mentioned work within the bill of quantity they are described in terms of length per meter length per meter square length per meter cubic in, and mass or tons kilograms yes okay let's go to the last part the, the last part was uh was, was all elaborate this this is the cost power to the contractor of employing an operative on the site you may double check this one then we have all in mechanical rate this include all plant cost taken in a, into account before taking a plant or a machine to site cost power on using a plant or equipment you can also double check this one then uh oh i've not answered this question maybe i can answer the next time but i have the last one here i have the last two here state two advantages of each of the following method of, of approximate estimation superficial area superficial enclosure so this one this will be the last question state advantages of each of the following the method of approximate estimation so advantages you can say the advantages i don't know if you have i've said the first one the, the unit of the measurement is meaningful to the both the client and the design team within with it being directly related to usable flow space cheap to client and can easily be, be understood it is useful in setting a cost limit to the product superficial in culture relatively accurate as it takes into account the difference in plants shed total area total, total flow area particle position of the loss overall height store height extra cost of proving oh, i've not answered the question it is it was state two but i've said the one this one there so state one here so this was 2021 20, this was for 2021 july estimate 2021 july student i think it was easy paper so this one this one is for 2021 maybe i will, uh, will do the others 2022 2023 yes next time okay thank you for tuning 
film and thank you for watching please subscribe share and uh, like thank you